multiplication addition laws. We are taking multiplication addition laws together. Number one, distributive properties. If A, B, and C belong to real numbers, then left distributive property can be A into B plus C equals to A into B plus A into C. Right distributive property can be A plus B into C equals to A into C plus B into C. These are called the multiplicative addition laws because we have both multiplication and addition. It is distributive properties. This is called the distributive properties. We distribute the product or addition. Here we distribute the addition or the product. If A, B and C belong to real numbers, then according to the left distributive property, this is called the left distributive property, A into B plus C equals to A into B plus A into C. This left side equals to the right side. Since it is multiplicative addition laws, therefore it involves both product multiplication and addition as well. We are dealing with both product and addition here. This left side equals to the right side. This is called the left distributive property. But what about the right distributive property? A plus B into C equals to A into C plus B into C. This left side equals to the right side. This is called the right distributive property. This is the left distributive property. In the left distributed property, we take the addition of B and C and take the product of A for the left side. In right distributive property, we take the addition of A and B and take the product of C. Similar for the right side, in the left distributive property, we have the product of AB plus AC. In the right distributive property, for the right side, we have A times C plus B times C. So these are the two respective distributive properties which come under multiplication addition laws. But let me give you a mathematical proof. If A equals to 1, B equals to 7, and C equals to 4, they belong to real numbers, then according to the left distributive property, 1 times 7 plus 4 equals to 1 times 7 plus 1 times 4, which implies that 11 equals to 11. Similarly, according to the right distributive property, 1 plus 7 into 4 equals to 1 times 4 plus 4 times 7, which implies that 32 equals to 32. Suppose if A equals to 1, B equals to 7, and C equals to 4, 1, 7, and 4 belong to real numbers. Then according to the left distributive property, if I plug in A equals to 1 here, plug in B equals to 7, plug in C equals to 4, 7 plus 4 is 11. 11 times 1 is 11. Similarly, 1 times 7 is 7. 1 times 4 is 4, 7 plus 4 is 11. So left side equals to the right side. Similarly, for the right distributive property, 1 plus 7 equals to 8, 8 times 4 is 32. So 4 plus 28 equals to 32. Therefore, 32 equals to 32, where left side equals to the right side. That's how we got the proof that for the left distributive property, left side equals to the right side. Similarly, for the right distributive property, left side equals to the right side.